Welcome to AnalyzeMyToy.com, where parents, grandparents, teachers, educational professionals, and anyone who cares for kids can learn the true benefits of today's popular toys and games. Now, introducing your host, renowned pediatric occupational therapist and master toy analyzer himself, Dr. Frederick B. Covington. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. One of the many jobs that I do is to assure the proper growth and development of children. When doing this, I observe, analyze, and assess several areas that are important for the child's well-being. One of the most important means by which children grow, develop, and evolve is play. Play allows children to use their creativity while developing their imagination, social skills, dexterity, physical strength, cognitive abilities, and emotional qualities and attributes. Play is so important to healthy brain development. It is through play that children at a very early age engage and interact in the world around them. Play is so important to child development that it's been recognized by the United Nations High Commission for Human Rights as a right of every child. Now the principal way children participate in play are toys. There are hundreds of toys that come out every year. In fact, recent figures show that the total global market for toys is $84.1 billion. Now with so much time and money invested into the toy market, parents, teachers, daycares, and anyone that cares for children have so many choices that it can be a dizzying process to choose. Here is where AnalyzeMyToy.com comes in. We explain the true benefits of toys and games we discuss. We like to call our analysis the fabulous four fundamentals. These include areas of cognition, motor skills, sensory exploration, and social components. We thoroughly explore multiple areas of a toy's cognitive benefit by looking at areas such as creativity, cause and effect, problem solving, planning or prioritizing, and organization. Now as we look at motor skills, we assess fine motor skills, gross motor skills, strength, endurance, and motor planning and execution. Now when we're looking at the realm of sensory exploration, we concentrate on regions of auditory, visual, olfactory, tactile, and proprioception. And last, but no way the least, the social components. Here, we pay close attention to whether the toy or game elicits individual play, sharing and taking turns, communication or discussion, group play, or role playing. Now at the end of the analysis, each area will be rated as having zero to five stars, and then average to give you our total toy rating. Through these careful analyses, we hope to help parents, teachers, daycares, grandparents, and simply everyone to choose toys that are not only fun, but beneficial. So, as we move forward with our forthcoming episodes, we ask you to join us and send in your questions, comments, and even ideas for toys that you would like to see analyzed. Again, I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington, pediatric occupational therapist, encouraging you and your little ones not only to play for the fun of it, but for the benefit of it. Thank you for joining us. Take care. We'll be seeing you next time.